All right, thanks so much, Andrew. Well, Charlie here from the Glass Porter Zoo, bringing with him Mitch, Mitch the, yes. the snake, <laughs> making his debut here. Yeah, we recently got it in the education department, and um, uh, and, and and I brought him on, and, and I was comparing. I was telling you a bit earlier. Um, it's a uh, a glossy snake, and um, just because it does have a little kind of gloss to it, but um, if you kind of see their coloration, they're very good at camouflage. They're, they can be found in many different parts of the southwestern United States, even uh -huh. up to Texas. Um, but we do have a snake that I've brought here before, the, the bull snake. Right. Um, there's a pine snake. There's several other snakes that do have a very similar coloration. And, um, and also you would kind of, you know, by passing, you would kind of confuse it also as a rattlesnake. There's some rattlesnakes that have a, a similar pattern, similar right. type of scales. But um, yeah, so it's a young snake. It does have... Um, you know, some time to grow. They can and get in, how big? They can they get, get anywhere from like maybe three, four, five feet somewhere oh, around that's there. Big. Yeah, so they get they get uh, rather large. So we'll have this um, in our. It's a new addition to our, our, our collection of, of reptiles in the education department. All right. So is it venomous? It's non venomous. All right, that's word. good. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the kind of snake that we want to have around. Yes, you know, and everybody, you know, they they're scared of snakes. They think they're all venomous in a sense, or. And, but no, a lot of snakes do serve a great uh, purpose for the ecosystem. And um, it's very important that we just leave them, leave them be. Because also, we don't know if uh, we you know, try to catch a snake or kill a snake or something. Right. We don't know if it's venomous. And sometimes when people get into put themselves in danger, um, it's because they're trying to interact with a snake instead of just letting it go on its own. All right. And so what does it eat? So uh, lizards is a big part of its diet. Little wow. lizards, uh, lizards, smaller mice. And even when they're young, anything they can maybe find. We're like even some types of insects. But yeah, lizards are a big part of um, their diet. All right. And I know you guys are very busy getting ready for your safari Saturday classes. So tell us all about that. So every Saturday till uh, uh, the summer, we have a Saturday class. So if you can't make this class um, for your uh, kids, it's from 1 to 3. You can definitely come to any of the other Saturday classes. You can look on the zoo's website. We have a complete class list of all the, the activities going on. And then also, we just got done with the event yesterday. We're going to have Zufari coming up in the beginning of October, and then we're going to have Boo at the Zoo, our highest attended event of the year. Um, it's going to come up at the end of October, 30th and 31st. So look forward. We have a lot of stuff going on. If you're not a zoo member, become a zoo member because you get discounts or free admission to some of these events. And some of these events are major fundraisers for the zoo. Yes, like the, this Brew at the Zoo we had was a really great fundraiser that we had. Um, Zufari is our premier fundraiser that we have for the zoo. It, um, all the money goes for specifically for a, a specific cause. Um, and, and we also have a thing type fund, uh, it's called Fund the Need within Zufari. Uh -huh. And that raises more money than the actual event, that one particular cause. And last year it goes, uh, well, years before it's gone to specific exhibits. So we have a new gorilla exhibit um, from Ooh, that's a few. that's exciting. Well, if we have a, it was always, but we are able to incorporate new gorillas in there because we bought this um, reinforced wire that costs like $80,000. So, oh. you know, it's expensive to run the zoo. So that's yes. why we do some of these but fundraisers. But it's a great educational yes. place to be and have the kids go out and visit. Yes. All right. Thanks so much for joining Thank us. You. And we're going to be right back.